Hi, I'm Dr. David Jacobson. I'm the Chief of the Division of Blood and Marrow Transplant at Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C. And today we're going to be talking about HLA typing or human leukocyte antigen typing. Is a blood test or a cheek swab test performed in order to identify the most suitable donor for a patient needing an allogeneic blood or marrow transplant? An antigen is a protein on the surface of the white blood cells, also called leukocytes. HLA proteins are on almost all cells of your body. These proteins play a very important role in your immune system. You inherit half of your HLA genes from your mom and half from your dad. The HLA antigens are crucial in choosing a donor for a person needing a stem cell or marrow transplant. Two groups of HLA antigens are important to typing, class one antigens and class two antigens. HLA is complicated in that there are thousands of HLA markers. So it is much harder to find the stem cell match as compared to, for example, a red blood cell match where there are so few red blood cell types like A, B, and O. A total of 12 antigens will be evaluated for a possible match with your child. A perfect HLA match means that all of the donor HLA antigen types are identical to the recipients. This is important because it minimizes the risk of graft-versus-host disease and graft rejection. This will be most likely within the immediate family, as there is a one in four chance that a sibling can be an identical match. There is also a one in two chance that a sibling will be a half match. Parents are always at least a half match to their children, since as mentioned before, a child receives half of their HLA genes from each parent. Some unrelated donors or unrelated cord blood units can also be found in a national donor registry, the National Marrow Donor Program. But this is not always an option for every child or patient. There are certain HLA combinations that are more common in people of certain races and ethnicities. It's harder for people from minorities, such as African American or mixed race, to find unrelated donors, as there are less people from those minorities in the National Marrow Donor Program Registry. In the event that an HLA identical match cannot be identified, your physician may recommend a haploidentical transplant, which is when the donor's HLA typing is a half match to your child's. All biological parents are haploidentical with their children, and there is a one in two chance that a sibling will be haploidentical. As the risk of graft-versus-host disease is higher in haploidentical transplants, the stem cells may be manipulated in the lab before infusing them to you or your child. And this would be done with a procedure called alpha-beta T-cell depletion, or additional chemotherapy may be given after transplant to reduce the risk of graft-versus-host disease. Other options, should there not be a match, would be a mismatched adult unrelated donor or a mismatched unrelated cord blood transplant. And your doctor will be certain to talk about these options with you and how to minimize the risk of graft-versus-host disease. Also, your doctor will make sure to test you for antibodies in your blood against your donor HLA antigens. If antibodies exist, it would make the transplant more risky and increase the risk of rejection. It's been a pleasure talking to you about HLA typing today, and I hope to see you at Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C. someday soon. Thank you very much.